Pilot, Captain DJ Jolly Foss from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. As a proud member of Air Combat Command's first fighter wing located at Joint Base Langley Usis in Hampton, Virginia, it is my distinct pleasure to describe for you today a capability demonstration by the most technologically advanced fifth generation fighter aircraft in the world. The F-22 Raptor's mission is air dominance. Your United States Air Force's F-22 Raptor. Advanced flight controls combined with its powerful engines allow the F-22 to pull more than nine times the force of gravity. Watch from the right as the Raptor demonstrates its tight turn capability with a minimum radius horizontal turn, and then power straight into the vertical. Then, watch as Major Dickinson changes his direction with the amazing J-turn reposition. stealthy, you must have a clean profile, requiring all of your bombs and missiles to be carried internally. The F-22 is the first supersonic, multi-role, and highly maneuverable stealth fighter in the world with a fully internal combat weapons load. Ready your cameras as the Raptor banks in from the left and cycles his weapons bay doors. Folks, if you've ever wondered where those bombs and missiles hide, here is your answer. This will be your best photo opportunity, so get your cameras ready to capture this salute. Now, from behind and to the right, the F-22 Raptor proudly presents the dedication pad. F-22 
22 possesses the ability to point its nose at will even in extremely low air speeds and high angles of attack. Watch closely as the aircraft pulls into the vertical and executes a full 360 degree aileron roll. At altitude, the jet will then flip backwards and level off. Then, in less than 2,000 feet of altitude and under complete control, Major Dickinson will execute a full 360 degree flat turn. reposition and show you what the advanced flight controls and engines can do. As it executes the power loop, you'll see why the aircraft is unmatched in a vertical flight as it carves through a loop and doubles its altitude at the end. At the top of the loop, you will see the Raptor rotate around one spot in the sky, utilizing the vector thrust of the two powerful F-119 engines, which literally flip the aircraft through the vertical and back to level flight. Following the power loop, you will see the Raptor perform the loaded roll. Slow speed handling characteristics are phenomenal. Watch now as Major Dickinson repositions the aircraft to crowd right, reduces the power, slowing the Raptor down to less than 90 knots and loads up on a high angle of attack. After the pass, you'll once again feel the raw power of the jet as Major Dickinson lights those afterburners and climbs straight into the vertical. Ladies and gentlemen, from the right, the Raptor's slow speed pass.
2022 possesses the capability to reach speeds and altitudes that make it virtually untouchable even without using its afterburners. Accelerating from 90 knots to 600 knots, the F-22 has now rolled inverted and pulled down into a split S for a high speed pass. Showcasing just a fraction of the aircraft's super cruise and full speed capability. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for Freedom's Thunder on the high speed pass. will now set up to perform a Hoover pitch. This maneuver is a double knife edge separated by an inverted tuck, followed by a pitch to line up in preparation for the heritage flight. This will be another great opportunity to capture the Raptor on your camera during our demonstration. Ladies and gentlemen, named after the legendary Bob Hoover, the Raptors, Hoover pitch. fight, guaranteeing our joint forces the freedom to attack. Freedom from attack. Yeah. We really want to give them a great round of applause. Thank you so much for your wonderful hospitality here at Dayton. and help you set your course for an amazing Air Force career. On behalf of the United States Air Force, the Commander of Air Combat Command, General Hawk Carlisle, and all the men and women of Air Combat Command, we thank you for your attendance, your patriotism, and continued support. Ladies and gentlemen, a great round of applause for your United States Air Force Heritage Flight, the Air Force's F-22 Raptor, and a big round of applause for the voice of the Raptor demo team, my buddy, Tech Sergeant Jonathan. Billy, thanks to partner very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that puts a wrap on the flying for today. And as we see some folks taking off and headed home, we want to say thanks. And before I go any further, Gary Hay and the entire Air Boss gang. Gary, hey, Bear Man, listen up. Nice job today, partner, keeping the airplanes apart and the show together. Also, Jay Rabbit, Nick, and Coy, the best sound and production in the air show business. You make our job so very, very easy. Danny Clisham, Rob Ryder, thank you so much for the opportunity to work with you. Terry Grievous, bringing us back together year after year is one of the highlights of my summer. What a delight. And don't get used to it. It's not going to happen everywhere we go, Rob. It is a rare gift and a treat. Rob, let's remind everybody that the show now reverts to a ground-based energy traffic by rushing out to the car now if you don't have to. Yeah, the most frustrating part of any air show is the drive home. And if you stay here and look at all the aircraft on the ground, all the attractions that you missed, you can wait till the traffic thins out. And when you get out there, it will be thin. You know, we've got the great east-west freeway system, we got a north-south freeway system, we got a one-way out system, but stay if you can. Eat, drink, be merry, let traffic thin out. Helicopter rides being sold, they will resume momentarily and they will go till six o'clock or till the last customer has been satisfied.